Department of Performing Art Communications at LSPR Communication and Business Institute proudly present LSPR Performing Art Communication Festival and the LSPR Theater Festival. Through the subjects and the holding of each theater festival and PAC festival, students were taught how to communicate through performing arts. We believe that every performance on stage is a communication activity, which tells us about life in the form of arts. Like William Bennett said, the arts are the essential element of education, just like reading, writing, arithmetic, music, dance, painting, theater, and all keys that unlock profound human understanding and accomplishment. Thank you and uh, good luck for your performance and uh, wish you all have an enjoyable study at LSPR. Sampai jumpa! Mima is a high school girl who has big dream of becoming a successful and inspiring woman. But the belief of her patriarchal father who thinks that women should get married sooner becomes a huge obstacle for her achieve her dream. Will she give up on her dreams, or she still insist to achieving her dreams? Ladies and gentlemen, the 29 LSPR Theater Festival proudly presents Equivalent, inspired by the man from Tyler Swift by Com 2615 SP. Enjoy the show. Have you ever wondered why we don't have more women leaders? I want to be one. No, I will be one. See all of this? Oh, I put all of my blood, sweat, and tears on my schoolwork. So I guess all of you just have to wait and see me on top. I'll be the fearless leader, the alpha type, and not caring what others think. Oh, I can't wait until that day comes been dreaming about it. A million thoughts in my head Should I let my heart keep listening? Cause up till now I've walked the line, nothing lost, but something missing. I can't decide what's wrong, what's right, which way should I go? Only on what my heart was telling me, don't want to feel it. Is this just a dream? I can find a way to who I'm meant to be. Oh, oh, if only, if only. Mim, what are you doing? Oh, Misha, you scared me. Are you having another delusional sesh of the day? Oh, shut up, you're the worst <sighs> twin ever. What? Hey, I'll always support you, you know that. Well then, Misha, my dearest twin brother, quit calling me delusional. Manifesting! Fine, fine, okay. While well, you're manifesting, look what Papa just bought me. What? Why did he buy you a new phone? He just bought you a new iPad last month. Well, I just won a competition last week. That is so not fair. I want more competitions than you, and he never gives me anything. Well, he bought you a new expensive vacuum cleaner. Uh, Misha, you're so infuriating! <laughs> Honey, could you please tell the kids the food is ready? Why can't you do it? Can't you see I'm busy? 
I still have to prepare the dinner. What are you busy with? Oh, you're only the newspaper. You know what? Here. Kids, food is ready. Come here. Happy? You don't need to get hysterical over something so stupid. I swear, dealing with women is so tiring. Mom, are you okay? Yes, honey, I'm okay. Please help me to prepare the table. Okay. Ah, huh? Misha, let's eat. Misha, how was school? And do you like the new phone? It's cool. School is good, pa. And the new phone, of course I like it, pa. Look at this, it's so cool. Thank you, pa. You're welcome, son. Good to know. I know you can do it. Study hard, okay? Because one day, you will inherit all of my business. What? All of it? But what about me, pa? <sighs> Go eat me. I ordered your favorite food. Thank you. Ah. Uh -huh. Mima, get the food for your brother first. He deserves it. He just won the competition, you know. He can get his own food. <laughs> there you go. Let me help you, honey. Honey, give it your plate. Eat my fork. <laughs> sure, <honey. laughs> oh, by the way, Ma, Pa, I got a perfect grade last month. I mean, I always do, but the school is helping me to graduate soon. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thank you. Good. That means you're gonna graduate faster, right? Mm -hmm. And I was thinking to apply. Ah, to good. You. you better quickly find a man to marry. Learn how to be a good wife. What? You must only 17. And so, I married you when you were only 17, darling. <sighs> and she probably regrets <coughs> it now. I don't want to eat. Misha means he's barely surviving, right? Well, my father doesn't know that. Apparently, he has such a high hope for Misha, but not for me. But I mean, if I were you, I would do what your father said. Evie, hear me out. All you have to do is look pretty and be a good wife. You don't have to study hard or work 9 to 5, but you get to enjoy your husband's money. 
This sounds good enough for me. Are you listening to yourself right now, E? I'm just saying, not everyone wants to be a woman like you, Mim. Especially not my mom. Uh, I know. I know it's hard, and I'm, I respect your mother for being a single mother. And I'm not saying that all women have to do it my way, but people have to let me do it my own way, E. Okay, fair enough. <sighs> oh, that must be Jeremy. Hold on. Hey, where were you? I had to drop Karina off. What? What? Karina? As in the model Karina? But what about Beverly and Alexandra? <laughs> Jeez, relax. They're just my friends. It's not like I'm in a relationship with them. You are unbelievable, Jer. <sighs> it's ironic how when men have a lot of girlfriends, no one bats an eye. Or even worse, people will think that they are cool for bagging all the girls. But when us girls do it, we're gonna get judged and called names. True. Remember when we were in seventh grade and some girl called me an attention seeker because some guy had a crush on me? Oh, yeah, good God. That was such an awful time. I know, right? And people always manage to find a way to blame all the girls. True. Okay, okay, guys. No need to attack me like this. I'll stop flirting with the girls. Happy? Uh-huh. Let's see how long that lasts. <sighs> Let's just do our homework, okay? Yeah. Which one is it? Yo, Mesh! Jerry, Evie! What? You didn't tell me you were coming? Hi, Mesh. I can give you a ride? Yeah, my driver dropped us here. Mm. You have to know, man. I had to drop Karina off. Karina? Ooh, that new girl, right? <laughs> Dang, bro, you back her! Yeah. Misha, <laughs> what's your words? I'm just joking. Not Come funny. On. Do you have homework? We have to wow, do our homework. This is so cute. We have a lot of I homework. should write for it's Mima and Nisha. Oh and my me. god. Evie, Jeremy, Gibbs, come, sit. Oh, I miss you so much. How are you guys? I'm doing fine, miss. Me too, miss. How about you? <sighs> Nothing has changed since the last time you two saw me. Mim, mm -hmm. can you take some snack from the dining table? Give it to Evie and Jeremy. Okay. Thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. My pleasure. Who is it, mom? What's that? Don't worry. Wait. So, what is your relationship with Karina, man? <laughs> no, man. She's just a friend. Stop. It's not a big deal. What a player. Hey, Pa. Mm. Hi, kids. Hello, sir. How's school? School's good, Pa, as always. School's good, sir. That's good, Jeremy. Thank you, sir. Um, how about you? How are you, sir? The business is getting better as well. I'm great. And how about you? I'm also doing great, sir. I just got accepted into Boston University. What? Wait, what? You did? You already got the acceptance letter? And you didn't tell us? Who is that, Mish? Aren't you going to pick that? Uh, I'm gonna pick it up outside, Pa. Excuse me. That is weird. Um, by the way, yeah, I just got the acceptance letter yesterday. Can't say I'm proud of you, son. Misha should definitely learn from you. Um, thank you, sir. And by the way, sir, Mima, Evie, and I are gonna do our schoolwork before it's getting late, sir. I see. All right, then. Study hard, Jeremy. You should keep up the good work and be smarter than Mima. Will do. Thank you, sir. Whatever. Oh, you should try this one. It's really good. Can I try this one? Oh, yeah. That one is also good. Mima, yeah. darling, you got a lot of letters. I think they are from universities that you apply to. Oh, my God. Really? Yes. Ah, Let's totally. check it. Okay, okay. I will. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thank you so much, Ma. Yeah. No. This is from mm -hmm. Yale. Boston. Can you make me a coffee? Oh, sure, honey. Wait a minute. By the way, what should I do for our homework? Uh, can you make the PowerPoint? Yes, I can. I can do that. 
Did you bring your laptop? No. No, we okay. have a lot of homework. Just use your phone then. Okay. Is it good? Here is yes, your good. favorite Americano, honey. Thank you, darling. Sure, try that. You're welcome. We should no. try that. Oh my god, man. Is that your acceptance letter? Dear, this deck is good, isn't it? Man? Yeah? Hello, James. What can I do? I see. I'll go get it for you. Jeremy! Mima, I'm so sorry. I forgot that your father doesn't let you go to college. It's okay. I just hope you didn't listen. Oh, okay. God. Let's open the letters. Okay. Help me open those two. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is this real? Evie, Jerry, I got it to Boston! Or UCLA if you want to. What? And Yale, man. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, Evie, I'm so happy. Is this so real? Oh my god. I can't believe this. Am I dreaming? Is this a dream? I'm so happy for you. Wait. So, where are you going? I don't know. I'm just happy that I got accepted into Boston. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not trying to be a party pooper or something, but do you think your father will let you go? I mean, he doesn't even let you go into college in Indonesia, ma'am, but let you loan in US? Yeah, ma'am. I don't want to tell him about it, E. He would definitely disapprove it. But still, you should tell him, ma'am. I know, I know. I'll try to talk to him tomorrow, okay? Um. Yeah, ma'am. You should try it. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe your father will let you go to college. Yeah. After all, you're pretty and smart, too. Jeremy, you don't have to mention my looks. <laughs> you playboy. Ignore him. What matters the most is that you still have us no matter what, okay? I know. Thank you so much, E. Mm -hmm. And you, I guess. Misha, did you know that the corporate income tax rate is set at 22% rate in harmonized tax law in Indonesia for the 2023 fiscal year? Uh, um, wow, <laughs> that's cool, Pa. <laughs> I know it's cool, but do you understand it? By the way, do you guys want me to cook uh, for dinner? Or should we order the food? 
Hmm. What do you think about that, Misha? I'm curious about your cooking, mom, actually. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> I will cook it for you, honey. Hmm. Thank you, mom. Sure. Good morning. Good morning, morning, sweetheart. Morning. Uh, what are you guys talking about? Actually, it's a secret. Oh, you're so <laughs> annoying. Um, pa, I have something to tell you. Hmm? I got into a scholarship <coughs> program. What? Where did you apply it? Well, no. You will not go. I have talked to my business partner that he has a son that I would like you to marry. If you marry him, this would be a good partnership for the company. And the company will expand into new sectors and Misha will take care of you. Why do you only care about your business, Pa? Do you not care about what I want? I studied so hard for this. Well, you're a woman. You don't even need to go to college. Just stay at home and be a good wife. Maybe in your era I can do that. But with this degree, I can be so much more. Hell. If you let mom work in the very first place, I bet she could be more successful than you. <laughs> Didn't you hear what she just said, honey? Sure, honey. This is the reason why I don't want to have a daughter. Oh my god, Leo! Women are so dramatic. I'm so tired of arguing with you. But I got into Boston, Pa. I also got offers from UCLA and Yale. What? Mim, why didn't you tell me? Well, because I know none of you will be supportive except for mom. And what about me, Mim? You're leaving me alone here? You're Papa's favorite, aren't you, Mish? You're gonna be fine. I'm gonna go no matter what. How? Oh my God. How can I make you understand me, ma? Leo, stop! That you are going to marry a man after you graduate. I'm begging you, please stop. There is no use for women to get a higher education than men. No one wants to marry you if you are more superior than them. When are you going to realize that I can be so much more, Pa? I can do what Misha does. I am equal to Mish. I do not see my future to be a housewife and I can be so much more. And I am your father, Mima. For as long as you live under my roof, you will do as I say. Do you understand? Stop this madness if you still want to live here. That's enough. Leo, why do you always treat our daughter like that? How enough! Will I... If you support her, then both of you can get the hell out of here. How could you, Leo? If you want me out of here, then I'm going. No. I'm done with you. I'll gladly go, Pa. I vow to be more successful than you. Let's go, honey. Please. Why would you do something so cruel, Pa? Why would you kick them out? As a man, you have to do anything to thrive, son. 
Now answer me honestly. Do you pay people to do your school work? You know all this time? But how, Pa? Misha, don't you think I wouldn't know? A few days ago, when Jeremy and Evie was here, your cell phone rang, and you panicked, Mish. I heard your conversation outside. Yes, it's true, Pa. And I am so sorry. It's fine, son. Do whatever it takes to be the number one. Do you hear me? Don't disappoint me. I'm proud of you, Misha. What? You know what I did? And you're still proud of me? You kicked me my out when she's actually doing her best for school, Pa. I think you need to get your morals checked, Pa. Stop talking nonsense, Misha. Don't get influenced by your sister. And stop crying at once. Pa, can't you see I'm tired? I'm tired, Pa from all the burdens that you put it on my shoulders, Pa. Be a man, Mish. You're not going to make it in life if you're already tired from this. No. Pa, have you ever asked yourself, what does your son and daughter want? I do not want to inherit in your business, Pa. I want to be an artist. I want to make arts, Pa. No, Misha. Son, you don't want to be an artist. You want to be a businessman. Like me? Hey, don't you want to make your father proud? Take some rest, Mish. I wonder how Mima can do it. Fighting with our dad is just so tiring. He just won't listen. Mima said that she's equal with me. But I suddenly think that she's so much better than me. She could heal from all the pain that our father puts her through. <sighs> and all I want to do is just make arts. Feels like we have magic wounds, but mine's still black and bruised, and hers is perfectly fine. And feels like we buried alive something that never died. Oh God, it hurt when I found out. I can't do this anymore. I have to go.
my God, why should this happen to my family and me? I never expected things would turn out this way. My husband is so different now. It started when his father died, everything is changed. He told me that I don't need to go to college. I listened because we were so young and we were in love. He also promised to marry me after we graduate. But now he's different and I couldn't bear him treating my daughter like that. Look at me, think back and talk to me. Did I grow up according to plan? Do you think I wasted my time doing things I want to do, but it hurts you to disapprove all alone? And now I'm trying hard to make it. I just want to make you proud I'm never gonna be good enough for you Can't pretend that I'm alright Then you can't change me Cause we lost it all Nothing lasts forever I'm sorry I can't be perfect We can't go back, I'm sorry, I can't be perfect.
I wonder what made my father turn out to be so cruel. Am I being too harsh? Father, you always said that women belong in the kitchen. I'm doing the right thing, right? I'm only doing what you taught me to do. But somehow, I feel lost. I wonder who taught him all of this. God, he must be praying for my downfall. I only want the best for my kids. Even though I don't want to have a daughter, I still want her to marry a rich man. I don't know what else to say to her. He doesn't even know what's best for me. I don't want to marry a rich man. I want to be one. It's such a mess I never thought that it would go this far So I just stood here sorry Searching for something to say Something to say Ma'am, I am so sorry for not defending you and Papa keeps belittled your wishes and your hard work. I should have been there for you. It's okay, Mish. This wouldn't happen if we didn't let Dad break us apart by making us jealous towards each other. He always praised you. That made me envy you somehow. And without really having to do anything, he always supported you. Wait, ma'am. I didn't know that you felt that way, but I don't want to. to I don't want to become a businessman, ma'am. I want to be an artist. I want to be an artist. Wait, wait. I thought you wanted to become a businessman. Oh, God. I really don't know that much about you, do I? Should have known better. I should have been a better twin for you. I am so sorry. No, ma'am. I'm at fault too. And don't be too harsh on yourself, okay? And mom, I am so sorry for not defending you and Papa keep underestimating and looking down on you. I'm so scared, mom. I'm so scared because, because with all of his expectation of me, I just want to make him proud by becoming what he wants. Though that is not what I truly wanted, Mom. Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. I forgive you. And I was at fault too, 
I should have defended you both when that forced you both to become someone who you are not. But I'm really so proud of you for being brave to say what you want because I failed to stand for what I want. But now I will stand for my own kids because I love you both so much. I love you too. I love you too, Mom. I love you so much, honey. And it's okay. I know you tried to defend us and you can't. Thank you for understanding, okay. honey. What matters the most is that now we got each other. We're together. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> Wait. I remember a song. What song? It was that, sweetheart? Oh my god, that song that we used to love. Yeah. You oh should sing it for us, so honey. Old. If someday your feet can touch the cross If someday your arms can feel my touch If someday your eyes can see my face I'll carry you Forever is a long time, but I keep my words that safe to you. Together we can go far as long as I'm with you. Cause I will fall for you no matter what they say. I still love you, I still love you. You'll never be alone. Now look me in the eyes. I still love you. I still love you till forever. I love you both so much. I love you too, Mom. Mom. I love you, ma'am. Mima and I went to Boston together. And through our high school and college years, I've been plucking up my courage to confess all of my feelings to her. Until graduation, 
I told her everything. <laughs> but the funny thing is, she didn't accept me right away. She said she wanted to focus on her business first. So I stay by her side. And after 10 years, 10 years of waiting, Mima and I are finally together. And that doesn't change a thing. I still see her as my equal. To be honest, I never knew what I'd do in my life until I met Mima. Looking at her strong personality and strong belief of being an independent woman makes me confused because I don't understand her point of view. But because of her strong belief, I felt that I too become a strong woman. In my case, a strong soon-to-be wife. My fiancé was the biggest thing in my life. He didn't just propose me. He also supported me to open my own flower shop. He treated me with such love and respect. And I created happiness inside my home with love. When I first part ways with my husband, Leo, I felt disappointed, hurt, and angry. As his wife, as the mother of his kids, I was utterly destroyed that he wasn't the husband I visioned, or even the father of my kids that I've always thought he would be. But as years passed by, I found my passion in cooking and made my own cookbook for everyone to taste my food from my recipes with a mother's love. And then Misha, Jeremy, and Mima comes by to eat the food that I cook. With these feelings I have known in life, I realize I realize life without Leo is so much more fulfilling. And I must say, I am at the happiest. As the years pass by, my dream of being an artist, it actually happened. I can make art, just like how I visioned it. The ideas that, that filled my veins, I can finally paint it all out. And finally, I have my own art exhibition where I showcase my masterpieces for all the world to see. I finally proved to my dad that I can be successful even if it's not business. <laughs> Though I know he might not care about my achievement, <laughs> but I feel that my life has been fulfilled. And at this point, I feel free and alive.
Congratulations, E. You're finally engaged now. I knew you would be the first to marry among all of us. <laughs> Our Evie isn't so little anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate all these celebrations. No worries, E. You know we will always be here for you. Yeah. Through all of your accomplishments and all of your milestones, you know that, right? Thank you so much. Look at this. The ring oh. suits you so well. It's really pretty. It's so good. So oh. I'm so happy. It's nice. Oh, Can't sweetheart, <laughs> congratulations on your engagement. Thank you so much, miss. How's your uh, husband and you? It was perfect, actually. I'm so happy to hear that, sweetheart. Um, by the way, talking about accomplishment, mm -hmm. look at whose face I saw in the Let magazine today. Wow, oh my God. it's you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Congrats. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Is this real? Oh my God. Oh my God I'm so yeah. proud of you. Let's celebrate this together. Everyone, cheers to Mima for sitting in the three most successful women internationally. Cheers. cheers. Wow, is this real? I've been dreaming about this all my life. I can actually become what my f better than what my father think of me. After all those years, he belittles my wishes to be a businesswoman. And now I'm here. Because of that man, I am the woman that I am today. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> I'm so happy. Sweetheart, I'm you. so proud of you. Congratulations. I'm waiting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for Equivalent Theater by Class Come 2615 SP. Please come up to the stage, front of house and ticketing team, Rachel Alia, Ayu Malinda, Angelina Putri, and Chelsea Dea. Marketing and Publicity Team, Vero Pereza Bravo, Nuzul Ilham, Angelina Putri, and Ishika Lovlin. Sound Team, Joel Benatua Kelian, and Axel Farden Mulia Putra. Lighting team, Feral Dani Hamizan and Sunderman William Penn. Makeup and costume team, Georgina Cantili Irsan, Gadista Danela Huta Barat, Vika Mutiara Gustia, and Dita Fadila. Here are the 
stage crew, please come up to the stage, Muhammad Diva, Ramsan Jani, Nuzulul Ilham, and Dimitri Aryadi. Along with the stage managers, Muhammad Ali Fansya and Muhammad Zayan Haider. The set designer and property team, Vaila Fadila Brabo, Muhammad Diva Ramsanjani, Dimitri Aryadi, and Angelia Nirwana. Here are the supporting cast of Equivalent Theater, Haftina Izati as Jessica. Kian Ergani as Misha. Davin Hesekiel as Jeremy. And also Vaila Fadila Brabo as Evie. Vaila Fadila Brabo as Evie. Please come up to the stage, the main cave of Equivalent Theater, Esther Juliana as Mima and Feral Fereza Brabo as Leonardo. Feral Fereza Brabo as Leonardo. Here are the scriptwriter Esther Juliana, Talita Angelina, Angelina Putri, and Varel Fereza Brabo. Please come up to the stage, the administrator and assistant administrator, Angelina Putri, and Chelsea Dea Abigail. The director, Talita Angelina Sientia. Production manager, Jennifer Christina Setiawan. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the assistant lecturer, Miss Kezia Nariswari Riyadi. And also the lecturer, Mrs. Patricia Vicky Sihombing, MSE. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please be big round of applause for Equivalent Theater by COM 2615 SP. Thank you and have a great night. Para hadirin sekalian, jika uh, mau berfoto dengan kerabat dan cast dari Equivalent Theater, mohon untuk turun ke lantai 12. Terima kasih.